Hi, I'm Brian. And if you're like me, you spend a lot of time in Visual Studio Code and use a lot of feature flags. This can mean a lot of context switching between your code in Visual Studio Code and the dashboard in LaunchDarkly. But with the Visual Studio Code extension LaunchDarkly provides, you can eliminate that context switching. So I'm going to show you how to configure it and how to use it. If you don't have the extension already installed, head over to the extension tab in your Visual Studio Code, search for Launch Darkly, and go ahead and install it. As you can see, I already have it installed, so let's get to configuring it. The extension requires an access token for the API. From the dashboard, go to Account Settings, then Authorization, and click Create Token. Give the token a name. The role details are available in Launch Darkly's VS Code extension documentation. Click Copy there, and then go back, choose the inline role option, then Advanced and then paste the code in. Once that's done, you can just save it. Make sure you click to copy the token, head back into VS Code, and then click the Configure button in the LaunchDarkly panel. This will start the configuration process. Paste in the token, choose the project, the environment you want to use. Finally, choose whether this applies to all workspaces or just the current workspace. OK, now that we've got everything configured, let's see how we can use it to avoid that context switching and just change feature flags from within Visual Studio Code. As you can see, the Launch Darkly panel is now populated with the different flags I have in the connected environment. I can easily see what their status is. I can expand them to get more details about the flag, including any tags, variations, and defaults. I can also click Clipboard next to the flag to copy the flag key and paste it right into my code, which helps me avoid any typos. And for flag keys already in the code, all I need to do is hover over to see the details. I don't even need to find it in the list. Finally, of course, you can right click and toggle. And you can see in my sample application to the right that the flag has been changed and the application updated. Well, that's all I've got for today. Now you can easily toggle flags from within your Visual Studio Code environment without ever having to leave. And this is really helpful during your development and testing. Uh, we've got more features planned for the Visual Studio Code extension, so look out for those. Thanks. Bye.